Two Zerinthia species, Zerinthia rumina, the Spanish festoon, and Zerinthia polyxena, the southern festoon, inhabit the remote and unspoilt areas of the southeast of France. The Spanish festoon prefers dry, rocky parts of the Garrigue, whilst the southern festoon chooses wetter, marshy places. Even though they live apart in separate and specific habitats, these two colourful and unique species of butterflies have very close genetic ties, and at first sight look similar in their colour and markings. It is the geography of the hills of the Middle Var that separates the habitats of these two butterfly species. A little way off, amongst the vegetation, a female has just hatched and dries her wings. As soon as she flies off, the male immediately spots her and captures her in his wings in mid-flight. The two butterflies land on a dandelion bud, where the male tries to mate. The male manoeuvres himself for a successful coupling. And once it's done, the two butterflies cling on in opposite positions on a twig. Once the female has had enough to drink, she leaves in search of the host plant, Aristolosia rotunda, which grows in damp, grassy places. In Provence, the females lay several isolated eggs. Here, an egg resembling a small pearl is laid on the underside of a leaf. The eggs hatch at the beginning of May, and the caterpillars grow quickly, feeding on the flowers and leaves of Aristolosia, their only host plant. These female caterpillars prefer to eat the host plant flowers, which are high in protein content. On reaching maturity, the caterpillar leaves the host plant in search of an ideal place to change into a chrysalis. Once the chrysalis has hardened, it is very well camouflaged and looks like a twig. The chrysalis will hibernate until the spring. It's the beginning of April, and in a neighbouring habitat that's much drier and arid, we find the territory of the Spanish festoon. A male is energetically patrolling his patch, then drinks from some time before returning to his command, finding a lookout where he can observe his territory. As soon as a female approaches, he goes to meet her and a courtship flight follows. They land a little further off on some time and mate successfully. The butterflies separate after an hour. The male is the first to leave. Without delay, the female lays her eggs on her preferred plant, Aristolosia pistolosia, which grows in dry and arid places. As time goes by, the egg matures and we can see the little caterpillar through the egg coating. At the third stage, the caterpillars turn a yellowy colour. Just before becoming a chrysalis, the caterpillar leaves the plant and completely conceals itself amongst the surroundings. Perfectly hidden amongst the sprigs of grass, this festoon, like the other species, weaves a silken cord to anchor itself while it changes into a chrysalis. At the end of the afternoon in the middle of July, a forest fire starts. Despite the efforts to prevent forest fires, every year in our region, hundreds of hectares go up in smoke. The chrysalises which have escaped the blaze and also survived will hibernate until the following spring. Yeah. 
In the spring, little by little, the vegetation reappears from the ashes. The cork oak, being naturally incombustible, shoots again. As a result of the fires, the natural barriers between the dry habitat of the Spanish festoon and the wet habitat of the southern festoon are gone. It's April, and this southern festoon, well hidden in a tuft of grass, is ready to hatch. And the butterfly appears. It climbs higher up the vegetation, preparing to fill out its wings. The wings inflate as blood is pumped into them. The females hatch after the males and explore the new passageways along the watercourse created by the forest fires of the previous year and which pass through the drier areas and connect into new habitats. As soon as a female approaches, he heads off towards her and catches her mid-air. A hybrid coupling follows between the male of the southern festoon and the female of the Spanish festoon. It is without doubt a rare sight and the first time that a hybrid mating has been photographed in nature. The female Spanish festoon, positioned on top, has a whiter abdomen than that of the male southern festoon. The southern festoon is on the red list for protected butterflies of France. These magnificent and alluring butterflies of our Provence countryside also present us with mysteries to discover and unfold.